we're on the banks of the beautiful Barada Creek. This is about 80 kilometres south of Townsville. The Briar, which is the Burdekin River Irrigation Area, is an intensified land use area. Cane farmers use predominantly furrow irrigation, which is flood irrigation. The water from the fluming runs down the furrows, either into a recycling pit if they have one, or alternatively, it flows directly into waterways. The Queensland Government had commenced a monitoring program across several creeks in Queensland. So as a result of that monitoring, we learned that there were nitrates and other agrochemicals coming into Barada Creek. So the Barada Creek Action Group was formed, represented by farmers themselves, their representatives, the Natural Resource Management Group, and knowledgeable and trusted extension officers. Having the monitoring happening in a creek that is a long way from people's farms wasn't really relevant to farmers. So the Barada Creek Action Group got some subcatchment monitoring happening in four areas in this 5,000 hectare catchment. And it was really interesting to see the reaction of the farmers from that water quality monitoring. And over the last, you know, four or five years, there's certainly been some, some low level um, exceedances of, of atrazine, diuron and, and metallochlor. But it was the metallochlor that was really of concern. The information they were getting was very timely, so we could go back to the farmers very quickly and actually say, well, this was the impact on this sort of a day. What were you doing on your farm that may have impacted that water quality result? Farmers being practical people need to see what's actually happening on their farm. BIFMAC have developed a nitrate probe that's placed into a trailer and people can actually run water through that trailer and it tests immediately the level of nitrate in that water. Also, it can be used in remote areas where anyone can log onto a website and see in real time what's actually coming out of that water. The other invention that's made life a lot easier for on-farm monitoring is the KP event sampler. In the short term, we're looking at changing practices in relation to pesticide management. And so what we looked at doing then is doing some comparisons between um, metallochlor versus pendomethylin. The metallochlor was coming off a lot more than the pendomethylin, probably up to 10 times more. So look, the message to growers at the moment is we're going to try and get them to move across to pendomethylin. You know, it's safer to the environment and there's a lot less lost. So a recycling pit is an on-farm dam. When the irrigation water comes off a cane paddock, it runs into the recycling pit. Then the farmers can pump that water back out and use it on the farm. This is one of the farms, one of the 70% in the area, that can capture all its tile water, all its nutrients and pesticides. Now, that's a real win for the area. It's only going to be in really significant rainfall events where we're going to have the recycle pit overflow and lose water to the marine environment. So I've had the opportunity to visit an on-farm wetland in Bakers Creek, Mackay, and that's a wonderful example of what can be done on-farm. The wetland that we're about to construct up here in the Briar is a far less complicated system. So the concept is to divert this irrigation water into the borrow pit, have it sit in there for probably about 38 hours, having it go through buns and some native vegetation before exiting the other side and therefore going back into Barada Creek. We want to prove that this type of system works. I guess the whole point is to encourage farmers to change things and the only way to do that really is to communicate and have them trust the source that the communication is coming from. When growers, they don't want to harm the environment. If they can use a product that's a lot safer to the environment and a lot less is lost, most growers will go with that, which is something I think that growers um, you know, should be applauded for.